Hello, my friends. Once again, welcome in this session. So we know, uh, like uh, carbohydrates, on basis of sugars, there are two type of sugars. In carbohydrates, one is uh, sugar, one is non-sugars. Uh, sugar and you can see this non-sugars are there. So this is the classification of sugar. Sugar, uh, if you take uh, monosaccharides, uh, so in this we have triose, tetose, pentose, and hexose sugars. So triose, uh, glyceraldehyde, dihydroxyacetone. So this is your aldehydic sugar. This is ketonic sugar. This is your again aldehydic sugars. In pentose we have again examples arabinose, dilose and ribose while in hexose we have different type of aldehydic as well as ketonic sugar. Fructose is ketonic sugar, the winning 3 is your aldehydic sugars. If you take disaccharides we have uh, sucrose, lactose, maltose, cello, bios and uh, tree halose, tree halose. and uh, in trisaccharides we have raffinose and tetrasaccharides we have stachylose. If you take non sugars, we have two uh, types one is homopolysaccharides, second is heteropolysaccharides. In homopolysaccharides, we have pentosuns and hexosuns, hexosuns. and this pentosuns again two types one is arabisuns and jalons. Hexons, hexosuns, we have glucons, fructons, galactons, and mannons. In glucons, uh, glucans, we have a starch, dextrins, glycogen, and cellulose, while in fructons, we have inulin and levon. Inulin, it is a a polymer fructose galactans and mans also there and if you take the hetero uh, polysaccharides we have hemicellulose gums mucilage pectins muco uh, polysaccharides so these are the different type of classification of sugars and non sugars disaccharides general formula is your uh, c12 s22 o11 so this is the condensation of two molecules of glucose by elimination of one water molecule so when carbohydrate this on hydrolysis this uh, disaccharide it will give you two molecules of same or different type of monosaccharides so we have seen the examples that is sucrose maltose and lactose are the important disaccharides sucrose formula is same so if you give the acidic hydrolysis uh, invertase or sucrose enzyme you will get glucose plus sucrose point of formula is same and this whole composition your uh, equimolar mixtures and levorotatory in case of sucrose Lactose, same, same thing so in presence of acetic uh, hydrolysis or lactase will convert into glucose and galactose. Similarly, uh, for maltose, H plus or acetic hydrolysis or maltase will convert into glucose and glucose. So, these two are the same molecules. You can see uh, glucose, fructose, glucose, galactose, and glucose. These same molecules, these two are uh, different monosaccharides. So, in this figure, you can see this is the example of sucrose. So beta D glucopyranosyl 1 to 2 and beta D fructopyranose. So 1 to 2 means combination of 1 and 2 group. In case of lactose, this is a beta D galactopyranosyl pyranosyl, and 1 to 4 alpha D glucopyranose. So here is a bond between 1 to 4. So 1 to 4 is there. This is your uh, glucose and fructose. This is your glucose and this is your galactose and glucose okay and here is we have two molecules of glucose but this is alpha uh, one four linkage there so these three examples are, are there so we'll see in details sucrose it is formed by condensation of alpha d glucopyranose and beta d fructopyranose this is the carbon one this one uh, subunit is uh, c1 alpha and the another subunit is c2 beta subunit this is the alpha d glucose you can see alpha which is down this is anomaly carbon alpha which is down and uh, in this case, uh, this is beta D fructose. So you can see here this beta D which is up. So this will again condense to form water, so it will get this reaction. So this is your it becomes hemiacetal to ester. So the ester means this is acetal, and again this is DJ. This is not an acetal or hemiacetal, only this unit is your acetal. So hemiacetal will convert into acetal. So acetal is your non-reducing sugar because it does not have any free aldehyde or sugar. And this linkage is called as the alpha beta 1 2 glycosidic linkage, very very important. So, this is your whole is uh, dextro rotatory. Yeah, this is your dextro rotatory. Sucrose is dextro rotatory. And since it is a non reducing sugar, melting point 458 Kelvin, stable towards the alkali, and does not show muta rotations, highly soluble in water. Slightly soluble in alcohol and insoluble in ether. So ether is insoluble, alcohol it is soluble, but water highly soluble. If you heat it slowly, it will melt. And after melt, if you allow it to cool, so it will um, solidify into the 
yellow like uh, glass like substance which is called as barley sugar when you heat to 473 kelvin it will lose water uh, and form a brown mass called caramel so caramel again if you strong heating it will uh, give a smell of burnt sugar or you can say charred sugar so it is black in color the charred sugar it is called as you can see this is a glucose and this is your anomeric carbon hemiacetal and this again fructose uh, this 2 is carbon 2 is your again your uh, hemiacetal and this will condense to form your glycosidic bond this is glycosidic bond this is your uh, acetal and acetal is non addition sugars like this and same if you uh, hydrolyze this uh, uh, this sucrose so you will get this structures so on hydrolysis you will get your alpha d glucopyranose and beta d fructofuranose so these are reversible reactions this will split and the water will add in both sides so this will get these two type products alpha d and beta d different type of monosaccharides will be obtained on hydrolysis of sucrose and this is your alpha 1 to uh, glycosidic bond sucrose is actually a dextro rotatory in its specific rotation is plus 66.5 so on hydrolysis it will give you two monosaccharides glucose and fructose so this is your uh, plus this is your minus so this minus is level rotatory its specific rotation is minus 92.4 degree while the specific rotation of d glucose is 52.7 degree so net specific rotation of this equimolar mixture will be your uh, uh, addition of 52.7 degree minus 92.4 degree divided by 2 so average of this will give you minus 19.85 the whole rotation is becomes your uh, negative so due to negative uh, the 66.5 degree initial sucrose was this rotation especially rotation and it will turn into minus side so that's why the sugar is called as inward sugar because degree is reversed changed or it is negative so this process is called as inversion of sugar or inversion process now we will see malt sugar malt sugar formula is same so it is formed by the condensation of alpha d glucopyranose so one subunit is your uh, c1 alpha and second subunit is it's combined with the fourth of other glucose unit in sucrose it was c1 c2 but here is c1 c4 so this is the difference between maltose and sucrose so this is alpha d glucose you can see alpha is down and again uh, this is the fourth uh, second subunit uh, which is uh, both are Howard projections in Howard projection alpha you can take alpha d or beta d anyone you can take it the position of fourth will not be changed but uh, in uh, sucrose we can take uh, your uh, alpha d glucose and uh, one is alpha d fructose so we can take that only uh, beta d fructose in that in that in case of sucrose but here you are taking alpha d glucose here you can take both any pyranose structures alpha d or beta d but this would be alpha first and on hydrolysis uh, what will happen so uh, this will condense to form again sugar molecule and this bond is called as alpha 1 for glycosidic linkage so you can see the both are left hand side unit and right hand side subunits and this carbon is anomaly carbon and again you can see this is your reduced sugar we can see here OH and OR is there like this both are hemiacetal this also hemiacetal but this is your acetal unit so acetal hemiacetal in case of this position was not happened uh, in case of sucrose so sucrose was your non addition sugar so one unit is uh, hemiacetal so hence it is, uh, it is called as reducing sugars which means osazone it can which, which can form osazone and it can also reduce tolerance reagent failing solutions as well as it can show the muta rotations so you have to remember uh, that if sugar has a cho or a ketone hemiacetal or uh, hemiketal it is able to reduce and reduce oxidizing agent so it is called as a reducing sugar and without this it is called as a non reducing sugar so like uh, glycosides these are acetals or ketals or these are non reducing sugar so they cannot be oxidized by the reagents such as ag plus or br2 so they are called as a non reducing sugars so you have to identify out of these four one two three and four which is reducing sugar which is non reducing sugar we can see this carbon is anomaly carbon and we can see here is O and OR. So this is your non reducing sugar. Okay. Here we have same position. This oxygen, this carbon having oxygen OR. So it is also non reducing sugar. But this you can see this is here O and here OH is there. So this is your reducing sugar. So this is only hemiacetal. This is your hemiacetal while the previous two are 
एसिटल एसिटल सेम थिंग हेयर इज यू कैन सी एस सी एस टू ओ एच ओ सी एस टू ओ एच इन दिस इज दुगर ऑल्सो एंड दिस ऑल्सो योर इज योर नॉन रेड्यूसिंग शुगर सो दिस इज ऑल्सो योर एसिटल शुगर सो ओनली दिस इज योर रेड्यूसिंग शुगर रिमेनिंग ऑल दिस थ्री आर योर नॉन रेड्यूसिंग शुगर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन योर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट सो दे विल गिव यू क्वेश्चन हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई रेड्यूसिंग एंड नॉन रेड्यूसिंग शुगर सो हेमी एस्टल्स आर रेड्यूसिंग शुगर एंड एस्टल्स आर एस्टल्स और कीटल्स आर योर नॉन रेड्यूसिंग शुगर यू कैन सी दिस रिएक्शन अल्फा डिगल कोज एंड दिस योर बीटा डिगल कोज सो ऑन हाइड्रोलाइसिस सो इफ यू डू हाइड्रोलाइसिस द रिएक्शन विल गो बैक सो इट विल फॉर्म योर so on hydrolysis uh, the maltose will convert to alpha glucose and beta glucose and if you do condensation of this two it will convert into maltose so you can see this is your uh, your acetal why this is your hemiester and this is alpha d glucopyranosyl alpha 14 d glucopyranose the name of this maltose is this much is the name or you can see in another way so this is your uh, reaction d glucose monosaccharide this two are monosaccharides so this is your acetic hydrolysis in this reactions that is called as uh, so the condensation reaction will go convert into maltose and acetic hydrolysis will convert into this d glucose and this is alpha 14 the glycosylic linkage is there so this is your alpha and both are alpha so this compound is called beta and this is called alpha so you can take alpha or beta anything you can take it this one but this must be your your uh, beta sugar so this is your sorry alpha sugar this must be alpha and this in this you can take anything alpha or beta anything you can take it so this carbon only the uh, oh can be alpha or beta this anomic carbon this you can take anything so this is the example of your maltose in pictorial presentation cellobios this is the third uh, your uh, uh, disaccharide is there so it, in, in this case again we have two glucose units so like uh, maltose we have two glucose units here cellulose cellobios also two glucose units so this is your beta d glucose and this is again beta d glucose so this that way also beta d glucose so uh, previously was also previously was uh, this was alpha and this was anything now this is a beta this is a difference between uh, maltose so when maltose we are using this was alpha d and this can be anything but here we are using beta d so this oh is up position and but here oh is down so one fold link is there so it will form like this type of structures is there this is called cellobios same thing like in uh, uh, previous one previous one was alpha 14 in case of maltose we are using uh, alpha 14 but here we are using beta 14 glycosylic linkages and remaining thing is same this is your acetal this is your hemiester so this subunit is ester and this will be your hemiacetal so hemiester uh, this can be uh, wavy like things is there so this can be your up and down axial or equatorial so if it is axial it is called as your alpha cellobios if it is equatorial it is called as beta cellobios so like this is there so we have two type of structures one is alpha cellobios and one is beta cellobios now we will see lactose lactose very important sugar found in milk in cows it is uh, cows milk it is 4.5% white in human milk it is your 6.5% It is formed by the condensation of beta D galactopyranose. That is, one unit is C1 beta subunit, a second is glucopyranose C4 beta subunit. This beta D galactose, you can see, uh, this OH is again uh, in up position, and here is beta D glucose. Uh, same thing is there, it's a glucose. And this is your galactose. So you can see the configuration. So one the uh, configuration four is your epimers. You do the fourth epimers, uh, the structure is changed. And again, if you do uh, this is your uh, condensation reaction on condensation in presence of lactase, so you will get this structure. This is your ester. This is your hemiester. So this is beta one four glycosylic linkage in this case also. So cellobios also beta one four glycosylic uh, glycosylic linkage, and here the lactose also beta one four glycosylic linkage. Since this is a reducing sugar, so it can also form osazone. It can also undergo butyrotation. So it can also reduce tolerance and failing solutions. So this is your lactose sugar. So we can see this is the beta one four linkage there. This is a one linkage and this is the fourth linkage. And uh, on condensation reaction presence of galactosidase, so you will get here this two product galactose and glucose. So this is your uh, beta glucose and this is your beta galactose. And on if you repeat acetic hydrolysis, 
so on condensation of these two glucose you will get this one and on hydrolysis you will get this one so this again reversible reaction so this is your uh, acidic hydrolysis you can see and this is your again uh, condensation so you have to remember this hemiester this hemiester and this also your hemiester but this is your acetal unit of lactose uh, let us see difference between the glucose and sucrose so with uh, concentrated sulfuric acid in cold condition glucose will not take sucrose will turn into black color with the mollis reagent uh, in both the cases white rings are formed with sodium hydroxide it will turn yellow there is no effect but if you use Stalin solutions uh, the glucose will give silver uh, mirror test uh, sucrose will not give ferring solution it will give you a red ppt of CO2O so cuprous uh, oxide is there uh, it, uh, there is no effect of sucrose on heating with the phenyl hydrazine so it will give the yellow ppt of glucosazone it will not form reaction it will not form osazone if you use the resorcinol plus concentrated acid solution, the glucose will not react, while the sucrose will give you reddish brown PPT with which dissolves in ethanol. So, sucrose will give this reaction. So, the, this is the only reaction which can differentiate between your glucose and sucrose. Others is phenylhydrazine, phalanx, and tolerance, in which positive result with glucose and negative result with your sucrose. Difference between the sucrose and invert sugar. Sucrose is again it is alpha glucose and beta glucose linked by the one two linkage. This is alpha one two linkage. Here is equimolar mixture of free glucose and beta fructose. Optical activity for sucrose is dextrorotatory, while it is your uh, labor rotatory, and it has reducing ability. It is a non-reducing sugar. So it has no free aldehyde ketonic group, while it has uh, free aldehyde ketonic groups. Uh, it needs digestion uh, sucrose sucrase and it is no need digestion other name is skin and table sugar here it's invert sugar we have uh, honey and invert sugar so these are the different names so here i have uh, given one uh, chart in which you can easily understand the glycosidic linkage between the disaccharides disaccharides we have seen non reducing and reducing in reducing it's called glycosyl glycosides while reducing is called as a glyco uh, seal aldose or glycosyl ketose and C1, C2 this is the glycosidic linkage with trihalose and this is your C1, C2 the glycosidic linkage sucrose while this C1, C1, 4 glycosidic linkage 3 gamposa uh, lactose, maltose and cellobios and here is C1 to C6 glycosidic linkage uh, gentibios, melibios and isomaltose this we have not discussed but again we have this linkage there so you have to remember 1, 1 one two and one four like this one so this will be very helpful in understanding these reactions and here in uh, bar four test to distinguish between the monosaccharides and reducing disaccharides the test solution is prepared by dissolving copper to acetate in acetic acid so when you take uh, this copper acetate in acetic acid so monosaccharides will give you the rate ppt of co2o uh, within 10 minutes on warming the solution while the reducing disaccharides it will not react with the normal conditions but on prolonged heating so if you give uh, for long time so they will give positive test why because uh, the hydrolysis of disaccharides it will yield monosaccharides in acetic solution so this is the difference between your uh, monosaccharides and reducing disaccharides thank you very much